Welcome to the 12D visualization training. In this first session we're just going to import a raster backdrop that we'll later drape onto our triangulation. Before we do that we'll just have a look at the data that we're using. This data was taken from the getting started guide and the road alignment was designed if you went through the getting started guide. However I've just changed uh, templates so that we can allow for better road furniture later on in this course. So I've just created a new template we're going to create edit and I called them rural left and rural right just to show you what you, they look like if you want to copy them. On the left hand side we just have three links a width of 3.5 with a 3% 3 3 crossfall uh, out to the lip of curb then out to the shoulder and then to the back of the footpath as you can see down here and take note of the colors in visualization we use more than just the standard 16 colors we actually use a whole lot more colors and we use such things as batter, color bond, uh, dirt, grass, uh, some housing colors here, some road colors for the asphalt, the bitumen and the road shoulder, some roofing colors and then we have other things like sand and steel and sky and things like that. Now to set these colors up we simply go to project, management, defaults, then under the system tab we change the display colors from 16 to 51 and hit set and write. So the advantage of using these colors here later on you will see um, we will be coloring the triangulation based on polygons that are created by the apply many and these colors here are already mapped to a texture so we won't have to create a different texture mapping file um, to follow the colors that we choose here if we choose the correct colors now. We just have a look at the rest of the template there's nothing under our decision under our cut section we just have an invert of drain and then another the other side of the invert of the drain and our colors are grass and grass and nothing under fill and under our final cut and fill we're just going at three, one in three up and down to the interface. Now I created a rural left and also the rural right hand side template and I changed that in my MTF file obviously and re-ran it down the road. Now we haven't done any modifiers or anything like that and essentially this is what our road will look like. You can see we just have a simple cross fall across the road going into a table drain and then into final cut and fill. Okay, so going back to our raster plan view, the first thing we're going to do is we go to strings, rasters, create. I'm just going to fill in this panel. 12D can bring in various different raster image formats <coughs> from bitmap through ECWs, GIF files, uh, JPEG files. In this inference, we're just going to bring in a TIFF file. And our raster file is called train1064. When we read this file in, 12D automatically pulls in information concerning the file. Um, but you'll see at the very bottom here, it has no GeoTIFF info. So it has no spatial information as to where to position the TIFF file at the moment. So if we go to our location file, we could type in the raw details here if we knew where to position the bottom left hand corner but we don't and fortunately we have an Esri world file which gives us that information and you can see it's 42,000 and 36,000 okay under our output tab we may want to change the model for the rasters 12D automatically fills it in for us but if you wanted to give it another name you could and obviously also a name for the raster. Now you can tick on here show border and you can also drape it automatically onto a triangulation if you want. Now we don't want to do that at the moment because we want to create a new triangulation later on which will combine both the road surface triangulation and the existing surface triangulation. So we won't tick that on at the moment we won't fill in a tin. We just simply hit create and finish and we can turn on our model rasters. Now as with any 
model when you first turn it on it always comes to the front of the image front of the view so we just want to move it to the back so we simply click on the menu settings go to models model order and we take the raster and just move it all the way to the back of the all the way to the very very bottom and hit finish okay there is actually another raster that would fill in this information here which was the train 1060 but it's not worth bringing in at the moment because it's a very small area and we're really only interested in driving down the road so that completes our first session all we've done is bring in the raster file as you can see here